So now we can back out of our container output, and we can move into our container UI. Now, because this is the only thing that I want it to actually look at for the moment, I don't need to see all of this business over here. We can go ahead and change the path here uh, up in our project. Now, we could do that a couple of ways. We can write that in, so we can add a slash container underscore UI, and that'll move us to just this piece. We should also, if we want to change that, we should be able to drag this operator right up here into our path bar uh, and get the path for it. So you can do either one of those to reveal just this portion of our UI. Now, we're going to start to build out a few UI pieces here. And we're going to start with a piece that uh, we're going to be able to reuse. So I'm going to go ahead and add, again, a container comp. And I'm going to call this container underscore header. And in this case, I'm going to say header 1. I know that we're going to end up with another header here later on. So I'm just kind of saving myself a step. It's not uncommon to end up with multiple header pieces. So it doesn't hurt to just kind of do that, you know, out the gate to make sure you're not stuck uh, after the fact, realizing that you've got digits on some and not on the others. Now, we can set up our uh, parameters here a couple of different ways. Now, again... The most efficient way for us to set up these width and height parameters is going to be to use exports. Now, because the, of the way that components work, uh, container components, I'm not going to worry too much about using uh, Python here because these things don't actually change directly themselves a whole lot. So because this thing isn't going to be actively cooked too often, this kind of header piece, I'm can going to go ahead and let myself use the Python here for this. So to access the width of our parent, I'm going to do parent par width. Right, Parent.par.width goes right in there. And I'm only going to make this 20 pixels tall. Now, I happen to know that I'm going to uh, cram something inside of here. I'm going to add a text top in for the background. So I'm able to kind of think ahead uh, about containers frequently. I like to do that. And when you use consistent naming conventions, it becomes even easier. So if I happen to know that I'm almost always going to end something with a null, right? And if I'm going to call that null, null final, when I'm setting up my pieces along the way, I can actually do some of my uh, kind of legwork ahead of time. And this is going to make sure that I can see things as I start to build them. So in my background top, I'm going to use dot slash null final. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to grab a text top. Drop that in. I'm going to attach that to a null. I'm going to change that thing's name to null final. And wonderful, we can see it's it's kind of like stretched all over creation over here on the left-hand side. We're going to fix that here right away. Let's head over to our comment page. Now again, this top isn't going to cook very often, right? In fact, it should hardly cook at all, uh, because it's going to happen right when we start this thing up, and then we shouldn't have to worry, uh, worry about it after that. So I can go ahead and use the Python again to set the parameters for width and height. And that looks like parent.par.w and parent.par.height. Now, we can use this, you know, to kind of not to, to drive too fine a point on this, um, but we can access the parameter of any operator um, by using this par, this dot par method, or dot par pr approach. Right, and so parent, my parent is this container, and again, I'm looking for the parameter width, w, and that's where I'm getting that number from. Now, I'm going to actually use a table uh, dot here. This is the way that I usually like to work with these kinds of header things. I'm going to drop that right on in. On the text page, I'm going to get rid of my text there. And I'm going to actually edit my text over here in my table. I'm going to call this movie bin. Now, we'll see our text is still too tall. It's still kind of the wrong size. So I'm going to change it over here to be 12. That seems pretty all right to me so far there. I'm going to go ahead and scoot out of here a little bit. I'm going to set uh, my, well, I've got to do one other thing, right? Because if we remember, because we didn't set any align parameters on this container, everything's going to kind of like clump up here on the bottom. So let's scoot out one more layer. We're going to go to our container UI. 
we'll set our alignment in this case to be top to bottom. And now as we continue to build pieces, they're going to show up in the right place. I also want to make sure, well, you know, in this case, I'm not going to worry too much about putting any spacing in here just yet. So let's scoot inside here.